Ano nyo lang niya sa vlog niya. Asawa ko. Hmm. Nung nakarali, nantay ko kayo. Walang, hindi kayo dumating. Nung lunes ah, tayo. Alam po, pasok. Ay, lunes nga ba? Oo. Nung mm -mm. everybody welcome back to our channel I uh, wanted to thank everybody for subscribing who's recently subscribed or even if you've been with us for a long time we appreciate all of you guys and all the time that you put in watching the video so thank you guys for that uh, if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe we'd love to have you uh, if you like the videos give us a thumbs up share the videos ring the notification bell all that stuff uh, we do appreciate you guys and we really hope that you do enjoy the videos we try to make videos that uh, you guys can watch and enjoy so um talked to cecile this morning and she was telling me she got the car out for the first time now she's been a little bit nervous about driving she's not used to driving there in the philippines uh, lately she hasn't done it in a while. She's drove here in the U.S., but not much in the Philippines. It's a little bit different over there. I had to put my wind cover on the camera. The wind kind of picked up a little bit. Don't want to mess up the sound. But, uh, yeah, I was talking to Cecile. She got the car out uh, for the first time and was driving it. I think she went to the mall and back or something, but there was a trash truck collecting trash and I guess they had thrown a board out that had some nails in it and she wound up driving over it and noticed when she got back that her tire was leaking air so she's got a flat tire first time taking the car out um, so not real good luck so far and I told you guys about when they were coming back from the airport when her brother picked her up in Manila they hit a dog and they also had a car in front of them that the wheel came off and almost hit their car so the roads there can be a little bit hazardous you got to be careful and keep your head on a swivel as they say so cecile's been starting in on some of our projects there we just got some small home projects that we're going to do this time around and she's kind of getting started on some of those so i'll show you guys her latest uh, experience there with some contractors um, I think we're gonna do just a handful of things this year nothing major 
we've got a roof leak that we got to get fixed and some damage to the back porch ceiling uh, related to the roof leak uh, we got some uh, electrical work we want to try to do this year and a bathroom door to put on and just some small stuff like that so we'll try to get some of that stuff taken care of this year she's going to get started on some of that um, when you're looking for a contractor it's always kind of difficult for us over there they don't have near the advertising that you would have here in the US so you can look on Facebook sometimes to find people they'll have a Facebook page uh, word of mouth you know ask around people that you know if there's someone that they know in a certain type of business or that they've contracted or that they've used maybe in the past that they're happy with but finding a contractor sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge so she's going to be the one doing that right now and also another thing is finding someone who does good work does a good job for you and something that we always think about is uh, you know what kind of price are they going to give you if they realize that she's married to an American uh, you know you're always going to have the possibility of getting the foreigner pricing but another thing uh, when they come to look at your house to give you a quote you know you can get the uh, rich filipino price so just depending on how that contractor is you know if they're giving higher price to certain people than others uh, you just never know because that's going to be estimated you know after they come look at your problem or your situation and look at your home so uh, if it's a price that you feel comfortable with you feel good with it you know you just have to go with it but uh, don't be afraid to tell somebody you're going to keep looking or you need time to think about it if they give you a price that you feel like is pretty high because we've experienced both we've had contractors that have gave us what we felt like was a good fair price and we've had contractors give us really high prices and sometimes it's different contractors for the same job so it can vary quite a bit. Uh, this project that Cecile just had done that I'm gonna show you, she actually did get prices from two different companies. Uh, one she found, I think through Facebook, gave her a pretty good price. And then the other one, uh, she was referred to through a friend that gave her almost uh, double the price. So it doesn't hurt to look around a little bit and uh, if you don't feel comfortable with the price, don't use them, keep looking. But once you find contractors that you like, that do good work for you at a reasonable rate, uh, try to hang on to them, keep their information, keep in contact with them. And uh, it's always good to have a good uh, group of contractors that you can use when you need them. So keep that information and, and just go back to the same people if you're happy with them. But it can be frustrating as a foreigner uh, dealing with people there. A lot of times they see a, a foreigner uh, and their eyes kind of light up. You know, they start seeing dollar signs and all of a sudden the price doubles or triples. Uh, whether you're shopping or dealing with contractors or anything. Uh, that's just how it is sometimes. And, you know, uh, try not to let it upset me or anything. But if I feel like they're doing that, I'm just going to keep looking or go on to the next person. I don't like to just say, oh, you know, it's fine, just pay it, whatever they say. I don't really like to reward that kind of behavior. So if I feel like we're being taken advantage of or not being treated fairly, uh, then we'll just try to move on to somebody else. But it's definitely something to watch out for there. And not just being a foreigner, but I think if they feel like you're a, like with Cecile and I, if they come look at the house, they don't know she's American or anything. They just assume probably that she's a Filipino citizen and they consider her to be a rich Filipino. So maybe she's going to get a higher price based on that without me even being there. So that's just some of the things that some people get really irritated about it. And it can be irritating, but uh, you just have to deal with it in your own way. But you don't have to just accept any price. 
So what we did, uh, the project we did this time was uh, air conditioning cleaning, air conditioning maintenance. We've got three air conditioning units that are all pretty new, but we've never had them serviced since they've been in. Uh, one or two of them has been a couple of years, and the last one's been in about a year. We don't use them a lot, but uh, we wanted to go ahead and have them clean just to make sure they were uh, not too dirty or anything. I didn't really know how quickly they would get dirty there. Uh, they recommend cleaning them every six months, the guys that came out. So we'll try to probably just do it every time we're over there because ours don't get used too often, but over the course of a year, you know, they get a little bit dirty. So I'll show you the process of that and, and the pricing and the company that we use and everything. And in the end, we're really happy with them. Uh, I'm, I've got their name and contact information at the end of the video on their invoice. I'll show you guys the actual price that we paid and everything. And they are in the Belonga area, so if anybody's in our area, um, they would probably service anywhere in our city and probably within a reasonable distance outside of our city. So I could recommend them. They did a good job and good price and uh, seemed like really uh, a good company to deal with. So we're happy with them all around. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And uh, if you're interested in the price and all that, just watch for the end of the video. I've got the invoice there for you guys. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you on the next video. Kuya kada ilang buwan siya bago malinisin ulit. Every. Oh, six months. Pag hindi siya ganong nagagamit. Oh, okay. Four months. Okay. Malinis pa, no? Ano ba yung dumudumi dyan? Yan. Ah, okay. Na? Marami dyan yung likod. Ah, yung likod. Pero ito yung mga malinis. Hindi pa ganun ka rin yun. Ha? Hindi pa ganun ka rin yun. Oo, hindi pa.